Okay, you guys, we are all packed up. Here is my travel outfit and our Amazon pillows came in. So I'll update you guys on how those are. And we're ready to go. We're waiting for the Uber and we gotta go. So I'm gonna shut this off and we'll see you guys in Portugal. Bye. We've made it. We've made it. We're like, we, I'm like zoned out. I know, we are so jet lagged right now. Our bodies are like Toast. toasted. We are so out of whack. It is technically like 5 a.m. in the U.S. right now, and we didn't really sleep. We maybe got like three hours of sleep. Yeah, you, you, know, you slept at least like four hours. Probably. You guys, you gotta look. That's true. Sure. Flight wasn't bad. I watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, probably like four episodes, and then I fell asleep for yeah, probably another four hours. The flight was only nine hours. It really wasn't bad. So we've made it. We are in. The Algarve. We're like in the town where the airport is called Faro. Faro. Faro is where we flew into, and we last minute decided to rent a car. So we were gonna do. We were gonna just a, Uber everywhere. We were gonna like, Uber. Rent bikes and just walk and do some like random stuff. But we we're like, let's, let's just rent a car. This was the plan because I I normally if you're planning on traveling here, I we were gonna Uber, but the Uber ended up being like 90 euros, which is like 100 probably 120 US or maybe even more. Right. And then the, and to that rent was just a car, for, that was just for one that's Uber. one ride. And then to rent a car, it was $200. So we were like, let's just do that because I think where we're going, a lot of, there's like a lot of small towns along the coast and that way we can just like drive all over. It's 600 and meters. Keep left to stay on IC4. That way it's like kind of the same. And a little bit more situation. in control. It's like a little bit more relaxing to just have your own car and like yeah. do your thing. Yeah. So we opened the back and we were like, this is not going to fit our American sized luggage. No way. Continue but on IC4 for three kilometers. We, uh, we made it work. Oh. So I know we're so yeah. tired. Oh my God, you're making me on. Yo, yeah, we're freaking stoked. We I, are, if we're like honest. We're, we're so, so excited. excited. We're like, I think our tiredness right now is just like taking not, over. Not letting like, us just enjoy the ride right now. But yeah. we're so excited. We can't wait to get to the hotel. We don't really have many activities planned no, while we're here. We're winging but, it. But folks. we're gonna like just go for it once we once we get to the hotel. We're kind of wing it travelers. We plan out the rough route and we book hotels and all the necessities. But these, these cars are on my ass. They are. Maybe are we driving slow? Yeah, just just straight I'm over. Driving slow. I'm going like 90. I think they like book it here. Like don't in Europe people drive really fast? Is that 80 kilometers per hour? I know. Yeah. but we typically don't book pre-book stuff. I don't know why, it's just not our style. We sometimes try to book things. I would love to be that person and sometimes we might pre-book, but like, we didn't book anything. I'm already loving the buildings are really cool. Like all the architecture, it's like really old. It's like, But it's interesting, it's like beachy, but like historic looking, it's cool. <laughs> Who you think you are coming in this place trying to mess my buzz up? Say you want space, but it ain't the place to bring that shit up. Too hard to come down right now. Uh, so don't you call me out when I'm faded. Don't kill my high, don't kill my high, baby. Don't kill my high, don't kill my high, baby. Cause I'm on one and I can't feel my feet on the ground. Cause I'm on one and I just wanna stay up here right now. Don't kill my high, don't kill my high, baby. We made it to our destination you guys and it's absolutely beautiful. We're literally right on the ocean. So beautiful. And our check-in is in like two hours, so yeah. we're stopping on like a cliff. It's so pretty. Here we'll we're show stopping you. on like a cliff to have like lunch at this little restaurant. Well this is like the town we're staying in and this was literally like just a few minutes from our hotel. Here's all the cliffs and the beaches. And what's cool is you can you can take these little trails down. And walk down and there's like little beaches down there yeah, so there's a restaurant it just happens to be right here so we're gonna look at the ocean while we eat and Let's turn on the games that you don't put me through. 
through. You keep calling me, saying what I do to you. Girl, you all sound the same. Oh, what a shame. You used to have me in your corner, won't we'll never regain. Now I keep on what you're saying, cause I'm too faded off that cushion. You've been going through some things, and that ain't even a good look. So don't blow my heart. I'm getting faded tonight. I need a light. You see the vibe. Don't kill my heart, don't kill my heart, baby. Look at every you guys. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everyone. I feel like this lunch is. We were so jet lagged yesterday. We so could barely lagged. speak. It was so bad. We just guys. thought we'd have like kind of a night to ourselves and start fresh this morning. Yes. So and we are is, refreshed. Yeah, we powered through yesterday. Didn't sleep, and yeah, I went to sleep at like midnight our time, which is like what five five p.m. Yeah. And this is like the morning of of day one of full day one. We're about to go to breakfast here at the hotel. It's the cutest Everything hotel. Is so pretty. This hotel is pretty cool, huh? It's this is the pool. Oh, it's just incredible, yeah, you guys. So the weather. We're down. Like, we're down. Like just kind of sitting at like one of these chairs at the pool, just the like chilling. Looks so cute. Our balcony is right there. This is on the second floor. Actually, that's like the third floor technically. So it's third floor, second floor, and then first down there. So this is her same outfit she wore in the airport. It's yeah, a little comfortable outfit. Just, like every morning to breakfast. I know, Sam. I'm probably going to be wearing this shirt a lot. I wore it yesterday to dinner. And it's just like a cozy, comfortable little shirt. I'm really excited for breakfast. I really want to go in there. It's so cute and like boutique Okay. Of course, I got all the breaded items. Some yogurt. There's so much variety. It's so cute in here. Okay guys, we are out and about and it took us a minute to figure out what we wanted to do today but I think we're gonna go just explore. We got in the car, we have our map. Hunter is looking up on the GPS and we are just gonna go explore the coastline. I think look at all the different beaches, kind of plot out like what we wanna do the next few days. Okay, we made it to the beach. So the beach we're at. Um, Maya Praia. Praia? Yeah, I don't know, I didn't even know the name of it. Oh. I'm just giving you some context. The beach that we're at is, it's the longest beach in all of Portugal. So it's just like a really long stretch of like beachfront. Yeah. Uh, super, super long. I think it's like miles and miles. We are gonna chill here just for a little bit and have a beer. We just bought two little beers. You and I are like more than water. Clash at every corner. we walk away? Why we walk away? You and I are like more than water. Okay, so this is so cute. Our hotel, they had um, they had fresh oranges in a, like a crate, and they were like, "Take these to the beach." So we grabbed a bunch, and they look so cute in this little bag. I'll show you what else we have in here. We've got Maui Babe, classic. Had to trek this all the way from the U.S. And then we also have some SPF, which I bought at Walmart before we left. And I have some lip gloss and lip liner, just in case I want to take a cute photo. Hairbrush. And then these are our room keys, but um, look how cute the room key it is with tiles on it. So cute. Anyways, there you go. A little sneak peek. We're going to eat these oranges in a second. All right, so we have come to another beach on the coast. This one, I'm not sure what it is, but we're having some drinks. That has like all the rocks in the coast. It's, it's actually cool. gorgeous. Look, it's so Euro. Honestly, so pretty. Look at the little striped umbrellas. So cute. All the rocks and it's really nice. So. Like, We're really digging these mini cars. This is all you it's freaking need. All you need. I'd say Mister could fit in there in the back. And we would fit in any parking spot. Okay, we just left the beach. This is our hotel, right? Yes, yeah, our hotel. Go around the back again. 
our hotel our hotel has snack time from 1400 to 1800 which we do not do army time so we were like trying to figure that out I thought it was two to four. I do Hunter army goes, time because I'm okay at math. You don't do army I, time I'm you're bad at math. I'm terrible on math. Like, literally, I can't do math. I really want to go to that restaurant. It's so cute. So I finally know my way around this place because I stopped and looked at a map uh -huh. for right. a good 10 minutes. Right. So that's important. Julie was giving me shit for it, but I think it's Study really important map. to just like Study. know where you are on a map and where everything else is on the map, so you know your way around. Once you just like get in your car, you don't have to pull up GPS or like, but you're never driving too far, so you might as well just like know where you're going. Right. Don't say right. Don't write me. Right. Honestly, like I really love this car and I feel like it is, we should get a mini car. A smart car. It is kind of cool. How legit, you literally can fit in any parking spot. Like look right there, that's your parking spot. Done and done. Right there. Oh, I was like, I'm like, I'm turning around. Of course you're trying to ride. I thought you studied the map. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know where we're going. I do I do wish this had like a backup camera. Right. The the yeah. Well you could probably get like a decked out smart car, right? You know, like nav, cameras, all that good stuff. Okay, so this is our hotel. It's so cute. Look you guys. Right there. That one, that building with the railings and then the palm tree. It's a Okay, we just got here. I don't even know if you can hear us. Okay, the camera died. And we are back at the room. We're going to get snacks. Come on, it's snack time. Pick up the pace. Actually, like if the snack time is any reflection of what the buffet was, we are in for a treat. We're, we are happy. We are happy. I feel like actually I'll probably eat more now for the snacks than I will for breakfast. Mm -hmm. What, what were you gonna say? Nothing. Tell me. Nothing. You were gonna say something. I was gonna say, that joke and it wasn't that funny. So oh, okay. Okay. You just save it then. Okay. I'm leaving my phone here so we can spend quality time together. Ow! That hurt. Ow! Hi. So aggressive. Well, you have the keys? I have a key with the files. Hey, come here. Come here. Real quick exploration. I think this is rooftop. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this private? I'm sorry. I, we didn't know if there was like a rooftop or something. Thank you. Okay, just an update. It's not snacks. It's like you can order food from two to four. Six. And she said they were really good wings, and then we got a little fish sandwich. Oh, the way, look at my I was power washing the back porch. Yeah. And my gl I was wearing gloves at the time. I know, I'm tired. Oh, I was wearing gardening gloves. Yeah. And they were white, and so they were really dirty. And so I was using the power wash to like, clean my gloves off. And. The, the glove yourself. stopped right here, and yeah, and I was like doing my glove, and the glove went up because it's so powerful, and it that's from the power wash, just from water, and it's scabbing over. It's yeah, it's, is it still hurt? <clears throat> um, not as bad. This one hurts the most, but it's yeah. because my watch is on it, and some would say not to wear your watch, but I like wearing watches, so kind of hides it too. Noise. Hurts. I'm sorry if you're getting bored with us just being tired, but I'm trying to keep it real. Jet lag is real. Jet lag is real. Um, I'm so tired. But yeah, we are exhausted. Oh my gosh, I can let it fall asleep. Leave a comment if you yawn when we yawn. If it's contagious through video as well. I wonder, I bet it is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We have some wings, we have some fries, so I can't keep her hands off of. Hot, I assume. Uh -oh. And then a little fish a and an egg sandwich. Mm, mm. That looks so good. That looks so good. That looks bomb. <gasps> the bread's warm, Hunter. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut it. It's so fresh. We can get over how fresh everything is. My mouth is salivating watching you. Oh my god. Mm.
good. All, all their all their bread is so good. It's pickles. Here. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So nice. <clears throat> so sweet. Everyone's really nice here. So nice. Not just at this hotel, but like everyone Everywhere we've met in, this in Portugal. Country. Like so nice. Everywhere we've gone, all the all the service has been like so good, and like everyone's been so nice. Like genuinely. Nice. We'll be at a restaurant and be like, hey, like. What do you recommend? And they give you like honest recommendations. I know. If you order something that they don't think is worth ordering, they'll tell you. And then also like a server at a restaurant will also say like, here's what you should do tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Give Rex. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're like annoyed that there's mm -hmm. tourists. They're like so welcoming. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you could piece, put a piece of poo on fresh bread and <laughs> Okay. Piece of poo? Like, I don't need that. It's so good. The way you said it made it sound nasty. If you just been like out to eat shit on bread, like that's okay. I thought I was really good. Mm. I love how light that tastes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You have an egg on your face. Wish I Bread crumbs in your hair. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. Good combo. So it's salmon. Salmon with a little bit of egg salad. Mm -hmm. mm. They have the best combos. Mm. She's gonna put me to sleep. Mm-hmm. Same. You take a 20 minute power nap. Mm -hmm. What's that alarm? Let's see what these are all about. Look how dark the picture is. Mm. I think some of the best bar pool food I've ever had. Okay, good evening, you guys. So we are down in the old city, and we are looking for some dinner spots and a place to drink sangria. <laughs> so we're very excited about it. Um, last we saw you guys at lunch, we went and took a nap, and Hunter's stuck on this music. Let's go down. You want to get it right here. Mm -hmm. Want to get I love some sangria song. and enjoy the music? Of, uh, Lords of Dogtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's. I got spaghetti carbonara, mm -hmm. cream sauce, and you got steak pepper corn. Steak pepper corn with potato, creamy yeah. potatoes. Food yeah. here is so good. We're at a little outdoor restaurant, a little patio. It definitely reminds me of like Paris or France. Paris or Italy. And everyone's looking at us recording, so it's very intimate. I won't record very much, but um, I'll show you our food again. Call it the lesser of two evils. I thought silver line is getting out and out to fight. Why are we fighting for the wheel? Why can't you walk away? Why can't you walk away?
got from breakfast a little bit ago and we are chilling on our little balcony having some sparkling water um, and just kind of planning out the day I think we're gonna go shoot some pictures here in a little bit and then head to the beach for a few hours at least that's the plan for now we need to start, we need to like walk the shops we're down in the old city it's our favorite place it's so cute it's like little tiny streets it's really cool so many little tiles that's all these like little, old buildings that's why all the cars are like little little peanuts because and we're obsessed with our smart car we love it we were like we need a smart car because they're so practical, so practical. Like it's like really only all the size and space that you need can y'all see me flying like 90 in our smart car down the highway? oh gosh i can zipping you have been you've been going like down roundabouts like like i'm like <laughs> You've been like mobbing in the smart car. Oh, there's the purple tree. That must be the center of the square. Is that it? one square. We're not. We're going to go with the pond mm -hmm. or the fountain. Sorry. Um, we're going down. It's a really cute area, kind of near the marina, and we kind of want to walk around there because we haven't really explored that area. And it's, it's way less crowded down here than today. I think people come here during during dinner. Hour. It's like dinner. Yeah, it's dinner and bars. But look how cute you guys. Oh, look at this little flower shop. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, look at this pink building. So cute. Honestly, goals. When can I move in? And we're just walking around, exploring. There's so many cute buildings. It's honestly just fun to walk around all the little coves. And Old Town is place to be. Old Town is so cool. And just to like look at everything, it's so beautiful. And the weather is incredible. It's just really so cool. like literally looks like out of a movie. It does. It looks huh? like a movie set. I, I bet they film stuff here before. They have to. It's so pretty. We have to keep marking our location while we park our car because we keep getting we lost. We keep forgetting because it's like a maze. It's like a maze. Oh, yeah. And also. literally you can walk around for hours and not find your car. I'm wearing this pretty little thing dress. It was in my dress haul. Um, a couple back. Anyway, it's like silky pink. Dusty rose with these little hoops and then just flip flops for walking around because it's like very practical. And I have um, cycling shorts underneath this just as like protection, you know? And Hunter, what are you wearing? I'm wearing some loose jeans from Zara. Um, those are cute. I love I don't those. Know where I got this shirt from. Zara? I don't know. Oh, is this our? I don't know, is it? I think probably. And then just Birkenstocks. Okay, we're at a really cute little cafe. We got some drinks. You got espresso martini. That's a good afternoon drink. Is it good? Cheers. Cheers, and I got a spritz, obviously. Show them the view that way, because it's so pretty. Purple trees, there's like a pink church back there. That's so good. It's good, right? Yeah. And these people keep staring at us. No, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I wanna show them. It's like annoying. Usually I don't care, but when people are like. I know. Blatantly I'm staring. Say when you get shy to be pictures in public. Not usually, but if like someone's staring really hardcore and like laughing at you, then it, it's kind of uncomfortable. I mean, it's something new to you, but. It's just annoying. It's like, ugh. I'd rather not have someone mugging me while I take my picture. That'd be great. Yeah. Good night, Graham.
got to the beach. And it's really cool. It's like a secluded spot. Mm -hmm. It's like very like by itself. It is. Um, I think it's a nude beach. I'm getting that vibe. I think everything's like semi nude. It's like I think a lot opportunity of people with their for top it. Off, tops off and stuff like that. I really like a bathing suit. Thanks. I like it too. It's from forever. It's it says so Beverly cute. Hills. Yeah. I feel like it's very Euro. I like it. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm in a theory bathing suit. Yeah, yours is cute. Nice quality. But we are finally like chilling at the beach for the first time. I know. I haven't done it yet. We have not. It but, gets kind of boring sometimes. Yeah. Especially when you know like, there's like a lot you can possibly doing, possibly be doing. I know. Um, but we ate a later breakfast this morning. And we ate a lot. I ate a lot for breakfast at least. Same. So I'm going to try to have a, I'm going to try to skip lunch and have an early dinner. And maybe we can get to bed earlier. I know. Take like uh, one of those little gummies. I know. Take a um, melatonin gummy. Melatonin gummy. Some. Get to bed a little bit early. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We're just kind of having a mellow, mellow afternoon, chilling at the beach. First European I know, beach. Finally. Finally. Okay, you guys. We just took an awesome little nap, and we passed out at the beach. So that was really nice. I want to keep going. I want to keep napping. You want to keep napping? So good. Yeah, it's good. I'm ready to explore, though. I think there's like some little caves back here, and I kind of want to go check them out, see what that's all about. But it's funny. The water is so cold. People are diving in like screaming and that's exactly what i did i was like ah, it's freezing because the water you, you just gotta like run and dive yeah but it's really hot so like it it feels good but it's definitely cold like dang <sighs> waiting okay guys we are back in the room and we just showered up from the beach i got a little sunburn on my nose i think you got sunburn too but I'm not mad about it. I am going makeup list tonight. I'm so happy about it. I just showered and I literally just put my hair in a bun. I'm not messing with it. Um, my earrings are from H&M. They're little coin earrings. Crop top from Windsor. And then I'm wearing jeans. And I am actually wearing sneakers tonight. My Outdoor Voices sneakers. And I just am degaffing because I just want to walk around and be comfy. I've been like dressing up kind of like every night and tonight I'm just gonna like wear this. So I feel like it's still cute and casual and then I have like my little gold bag so it's not totally, you know, whatever. Um, bracelets are Miranda Fry and yeah, we have the prettiest view right now. I think by the balcony is my favorite part of the room. Like I love it so much. And um, anyways, we're gonna try and figure out where to go to dinner. I want some drinks. We have not eaten since breakfast. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, we had a later breakfast. I think we ate at like breakfast at like what ten? It was the yeah, hours like nine or something. I um, definitely got some sun. I, I'm, I put a lot of moisturizer on today. I know I like you know, always think I put a lot of moisturizer on, but usually I put a lot of eye cream on. Today I just put a lot of moisturizer on. Oh, really? My face is red. I'm oh, you're so tan like, though. I'm jealous. Look at you. <gasps> no, I'm red. It's not fair. Oh yeah, what are you wearing? I've worn this before. I've showed this in like. This is cute. Ones. Cute on this shirt, this is a H&M shirt divided. Yeah, like the, this, this, the I, waffle I this type. Like three or four I know, it's a this solid like shirt. A solid and it doesn't like, it hasn't gotten crummy no, for no, washing or anything. Like, yeah. one too. So cute. Um, these shorts are from Zara. Those yeah. Are, like pretty comfy. Mm -hmm. Just for like a little hang around, chill vibe. Totally. I've worn these like a few times in Europe. Very and cute. And these are Zara shoes. I've worn yeah. these slightly for a little bit, but I haven't had a chance to like really wear them. They're cute. Yeah, so it's a good little, good little dinner outfit. Okay, we need to figure out where we're going. I really like these glasses. I'm, I'm trying no to like idea. figure out a way to wear these things, but every time I wear them, Julia says I look like Harry Potter. Which yeah, they kind of like, do look like Harry Potter. You have to be careful. See, I guess you could do something like I feel like they're kind of like, I feel like, like that. I feel like they're like dad vibes. Like they are, classes. but they, they right? They would go down like this, but when you do like a head scarf and like some of your more like kind of like edgy or stuff, yeah. it's too much. Especially when I draw like a Z on my forehead. Right. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Twerk. Okay. okay. I'm going to get a jacket. Hey, are we going to go back to the place we went to the first night? I'm kind of down. I don't know. I know. I don't, I don't want to be lame and just like go to the same place well, again. I want, but I want to save that for like the last night. We can do it again. I know, but are <sighs> we sure we don't want anything else tonight? I just don't know what other food I want. I just want, look, here's my thing. I'm because I'm I hungry. I just got like sick from that cream stuff last night. I know, same. And I don't want to, get, I don't I, want to go through that I don't want to have again. creamy stuff again. Yeah. Like, I don't want like pizza. Last night dinner was, eh. It was like good at the moment, but we both felt sick after because it was like super heavy and oily and creamy. Yeah. But you want pizza? I don't know. Or like something different. I don't know. What do you think? 
Look at these really cool Portugal cards we got. Little tiles. We might have shown I mean, this already. Honestly, I could eat that tuna steak like every night. It was so good. We're getting a lot of inspiration here, by the way, for um, house. Our, our other house that we're renovating. Tomorrow, I want to check out those two hotels that have like really cool decor. Yeah. I think we should go and kind of like... But we wanted to come in here and like really pay close attention to the tiles because the tiles are amazing here. Yeah. Angela's already showed you. Did you show them the one in the bathroom? Apparently, I think... I really love this. I, I really love this oh, tile in the bathroom. Check okay, this out. This is the coolest thing, though. Look at this tile. Let me narrate. But look, okay. doesn't it look like broken tiles like this, and, guys, and they like how, piece them together? Right, like vintage, right? But it's not. These it's, these are all the same piece. This guys, whole thing is the same piece. This is like a printed. They're, like it's not real. They're tile. like that. That's one tile right there. You would. It looks. But it looks like real. vintage, like broken that they put them together. No, but like this is like it's like a it's like an image, like printed. Right. On the tile it's amazing. Food. It's and so, so e crazy. even like the um, how practical, like the brown, that's just part of it, and like the cracks and stuff. This is all part of the tile. I don't know. I just think it's freaking cool, and I'm definitely want to do something like that in our renovation house. I kind of want to do not just like one accent wall, but like a double accent wall with this style. I know. I think it's so cool. I all right, got the room. we're gonna go to dinner. My phone. And we'll let you know, oh, we decide. I need to get cool. my wallet and Keep all that kind of stuff. Keys? Here, hold that. Okay, see you guys soon, okay? Okay. We're back at the restaurant. It's so good. It's called Casa de Prego. Casa de Prego. Steak this time, they were out of the other one that I got the other day. The tuna. The tuna steak. That was really good. Yeah. Steak with Parmesan and tomatoes. It all comes with potato. Chips and lettuce salad. It looks so good. The food here is like. This is definitely a recommendation. So good. And we got the green sangria again. Yeah. So good. Like, they don't have it everywhere. No. Okay, you guys. Good morning. It is our last day in the Algarve, and we came to this really gorgeous hotel to um, have some drinks and some food and check it out. We really wanted to stay here, but uh, it was all booked, but it's called Casa May, and it's really pretty. It was like featured in Vogue and stuff like that, so the aesthetics are on point, as you can see. So I got an Algarvian cocktail. It's an Algarvian margarita. We got a sparkling water. We have a little bit of the tuna, like tuna ceviche, kind of, and a sheep cheese and some other kind of Algarvian cheese. I don't know what it is. And she got a little Coke Zero. Take a little flat lay. Mm -hmm. Is this for your story or for your feed? I feed, I think maybe. We could use it for either. Game changer on chips. Game changer. Bring, these are so outdated, but like bring some Fujis or some like, uh, what are those other ones called? Kodak cams? A just a disposable camera, like the old school, where you take a picture and you like, you like twist the thing to count down how many pictures you got left. Um, yeah, we brought two, or you bought two while we were here, um, and we might buy another one or two today. And then Nikki and Dan are bringing some to Lisbon. Uh, yeah, they're bringing two more, and then I'm sure we can find them in Lisbon. It's like might, might be worth buying one here. Like, like I went the, to get more. I know. I'm so we might as well. This looks delicious. So We're still good. at this same place, Casa yeah. May. And if That's we ever really come, nice. if we ever come back here, we'd probably stay here at least for oh, a few, at least for a few days. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, think it's. I, fun. Really I actually think it's fun to stay at a couple of hotels while you're here. I know. And, like, I, I really places. like our hotel because it's like homey and it's like cute. We haven't even booked our train for tomorrow. I know. We gotta take I a think train. It's fine, right? Like a train from here to them. Lisbon. People don't pre-book everything. No. You don't book trains out like, like we at didn't all. even book a rental car and then we just got one here. It was great. It would have probably been a little bit more affordable. I can't wait to see what you think of this. Did you just get a little bit of the? That? Yeah, get a little bit of everything. I did it without the orange so I could taste it because the orange kind of overpowers. Okay. Oh, it's so good though. Mm. Isn't that amazing? So fresh. That's what I'm saying. Like fresh and good. Mm. Okay, you guys, so we just took a break from our little lunch to come look around. This hotel is freaking incredible. First of all, look at this is where we were eating. Down there. Look how pretty. And then this is all of their gardens, which is freaking amazing. And it's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? It's like such a cool vibe. Almost feels like Mexico. 
I guess it's Portugal, so it makes sense. Hey, all of the veggies probably come from here. I know, I think they grow hey, all their food. This water system, oh my god. What? I'm serious. What is irrigation system? Look, look at it. It's like when it flood, like when it rains a lot, it, smart. it keeps it out of the garden. And it's like, very smart. But then it spoils all the water, and they can use rainwater. Really cool. This is an old well. Really cool, you guys. This hotel. Highly recommend if you're coming here. This is where you need to stay. And it's not. I remember looking like, oh, could you die, Hunter? This is the gravel, exact gravel I'm talking about for the McKinney house. So you guys, we want to do some gravel at our fixer upper. This is the type of what we're thinking. And this is what? the gravel we're talking about for our five star landscape. Yeah, exactly. I love it. It's like kind of deserty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. We're in the boutique at the hotel and they have really cute stuff. I actually really like this basket purse. Only 32 euros. It's really good. Hmm? Which one? Yeah, that's so cute. I just, oh, so many bags. I can't take anything else. Unless it's like, you know, I've needed in my life. Oh, let me show you my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. It's a really cute um, crochet dress for Misguided. I changed so that we could take a little picture in this. Um, and I'm going to wear it to the beach, but it's so pretty. And then the one piece underneath is from Windsor. It's just like a neon tangerine. But I think this is so fun for vacation. This little neon, or this little uh, crochet dress is really cute for vacay. So, love it if you're going on vacation. Over a one piece, it's like so beautiful, isn't it? Comes in other colors too. So yeah, we're going to go to the beach now. And we'll see you there. It's so hot. like rocks and cliffs like Euro style but it also has bars and restaurants. There's like a fire so like right behind us like we're this way the ocean's now. There. The ocean is there. And then if you want to you can rent sun beach chairs. Like if you want a little more shade. So you really have all the options. You can also rent kayaks. They've got it all. We were just talking about how weird it is. How Portugal is like so underrated. It we like so honestly can't believe it. It is like no, nothing's marked up in price. No, it's cheap. It's so cheap. It's so beautiful. It's safe. Amazing, safe place. And it's not that far it's, from it's the U.S. It's one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. I know. And it's, it is beautiful. And it's the closest country, if you look on the map, it's the closest if you're flying from the U.S. So like, it's the, what? the westernmost point of here. Yes, like I don't understand. Listen, Why aren't more people here? on a vacation, like a beach vacation in Europe, go to the levels. Oh my god, 100%. Why are there not more people here? It's like people don't know about it. It's crazy. It's like a hidden gem. So if it's you want to plan a trip, come here. Algarve, like the whole Algarve coast is probably uh, badass. I know. You could probably do like a three-week vacation in the Algarve. Totally. City to city. Totally. If you want like a beach trip, I would do that. Again. It's just not mainstream yet, which is the best part about it. Like I bet you come here in ten years, it'll be like a Malpi coast. It'll be like absolutely so mainstream. You will always remember the days that we came. Just chilling with my boo. I'm so happy. It's my happy place. I'm not working today. Sort of. Checking emails. Mm -hmm. I'm just finally a relaxed happy place. It's so good. So good. The beach is the best. Julia was initially pretty stressed out and had a lot of anxiety at the beginning of our trip. It let off now. And you're finally like winding down. It's always hard for me to go on a trip and then I have to unwind. I don't know why. I think I'm it all wound a, it up. It takes person. a lot for Julia. It actually takes a lot of time too. I don't realize that I'm not unwound. I just like kind of keep going until I'm told not to. Yeah. Yeah. It's like even when I vacation, even when we're traveling, I usually don't check out of work. I usually work the whole time I'm gone. You do? Um, I actually have a call this afternoon. What time? I think I'm like two. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to enjoy the beach. We just had two beers each. Two Water. It's crazy, like I was saying, nothing's worked up here. Like, four, four beers was $9. That's so It's crazy. Hey. Oh, it's so crazy. Oh, it's so it's cold. Really cold. The water here is like pretty crisp. I really have to pee. I gotta get in. What am I gonna do? What's a girl to do? Don't dilute the ocean. I have to pee. 
Don't make it salty. Don't make the water salty. That guy's definitely peeing right now. Totally He's totally pissing the bed. Great. Oh, yeah, here. He's peeing. She's peeing over there. She's peeing. That lady's trying to pee, but she can't go deep enough in the water. Oh, she's, oh yeah, she'll pee in a second. She's actually like she's washing her body off because she's pissing right now. Absolutely. That little girl's peeing. That lady way out there is peeing. That person's peeing. Do I just go? She might be pooping. <laughs> that guy's thinking about peeing, but he doesn't want to get in the water. He's like, how about they don't pee? You get so startled that you like freeze and you can't do it. I know. Ice creams for us? Almond, chocolate, almond, chocolate. I honestly just want to go old with someone who loves my soul and I want to share everything I own. Share a family and share a home and wake up to that morning kiss and reminisce on days we miss and have moments filled with bliss, moments that feel just like this. And I wonder, do you feel the same emotions I can't explain and emotions I can't contain? Now I swear it's like I had the same thoughts again and again and again. It's like, I want to be the cream to your coffee. Hey, memories to your brain. Yeah, I'm trying to give you every reason in the world to make you want to change your less We were at the beach yesterday and then a subscriber DM'd me and was like I saw you at the beach but I didn't say hi and I was like we yeah. in Portugal of all places and she was like want to come watch the sunset but I didn't get her message so yep, we're gonna meet up with, her, meet up with her in um, Lisbon you guys if you see us come say hi I know. we're gonna hang out what's well, funny though is she didn't just like reach out and say I saw you like we could have hung out but it was you had a story going she and she was story. in the story and she was like oh my god that's me i saw you i, was, I didn't want to say hi yeah. but that's me in your picture in the background. it was her it was totally her yeah mm. 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 So, i'm yeah. actually surprised you picked this one for me i mean it's delicious all the other all the other show was crap it was crap mm. like fruity mm -hmm. once again really like lagos Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Wendy might not be able to hear us. I'm a fan. I don't really say that about too many places. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't. I really, really don't. You're gonna picky. But I really like it here. Like this is a place that like, if we were to really retire don't. and like move somewhere just like off the beaten path, it would be this. It's mm -hmm. like absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it. It's so relaxed. Everyone's here. Ch I Everyone's know. so nice too. Everyone's so chill. Nice. Everyone here is so nice. So nice. All the Portugal, Portuguese Portugalians, Port Portuguese. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all the Portuguese people are so super nice. sweet, super nice people. Very engaging, very personal. Yes. They like to chat with you and, and give you information. They're helpful. They're, They're just probably good like the nicest people, people I've ever met. Yep. Honestly. Yep. Truthfully. Truly. And they all like pretty much all of them speak English in one way or another. All of them. These sunglasses are from Walmart. Because I don't think we're putting up that pack of oh. video, are we? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> here, here, here. I'll get it. I'll get it. I just spilled it on you. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah. <laughs> You're cute. I love you. <laughs> You're, back. You're such a mess at the beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandy, okay. Maui baby, like you love it. It's cute. I'm a little kid. Yeah. A beach. Um. That my head sand in it. That is <laughs> the ice cream. Uh -huh. I think we're about to read a book. Story time. It's called the Twenty Fifth Hour, and it's written by an author who wrote another book I read recently. Uh oh. That was an amazing, an amazing book. And I read it like a week. And I'm not the best reader. I'm not the best reader. But I read that book in literally like four or five days. Fast as I've ever read a book in. Loved it. It's called City of Thieves. So I bought another one of his books. Called The 25th Hour. It's his number one seller, I think. I'm going to read it to Julia here. A little story time in a second. Right? Great. Do you not want me to? I'll read it No. I know you want to so bad. Oh, he's like a little kid. He like wants, like, 
you to do everything with him. He <laughs> wants. I like doing it together. You like doing everything together. We like can, we can do zero popcorn. Zero independence. We can take turns calling on other people, <laughs> like AKA each other, to read the next part of the book. <laughs> I, can, I can read chapter one. I can read chapter two. Or we can switch by paragraphs. I don't care. <laughs> You're like, let's read out loud. How about popcorn? Three paragraphs. <laughs> I read three paragraphs. You read three paragraphs. <laughs> You know what? Here's, here's the thing. I was so nervous to read in public when I was a kid. Read out loud. That when popcorn story time was going on. Wait, what's popcorn? Where like some person calls on another person to read the next set of paragraphs. Oh. So it's like popping around. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Okay, yeah. And I was always so nervous to be called on. Right. Like, and I would get called on a lot. That while the person was reading in front of me, like let's say there it was three, let's just say it was one paragraph. As that person was reading one paragraph, I was practicing the next paragraph every single time. Oh my god, that's so stressful. I know. And so I never paid attention yeah. to the book. I never knew the, what was going on because I was always just practicing the next paragraph. First time I got in trouble in school, like truly in trouble, I got caught cheating. You did? It was, you know, AR reading, remember that? No. A accelerated reading, AR, mm -hmm. where you'd read a book and take a test, and when and you'd get points for taking little tests. It was like in the library. Mm -hmm. And I had this girl read a bunch of books and take a bunch of tests for me so I could be at the leaderboard. The leaderboard? What's that? Like a leaderboard of like points for the most books read and stuff like that. And a girl would read books and I would I would talk her into taking the test for me also while she would take the test on oh my computer. Oh my god. And they busted me. Did she like you? I think so. Well yeah, she wouldn't have done it any other way. For any other reason? Yeah. And I was like, you better keep your mouth shut, don't you? Oh I, my god. I had god. to like tell her the story to tell the... I was like a fourth grader. Anyways. Shady. I know. Oh, those are good times. Good times. I remember we would have, we had in third grade had little cubbies with baskets and we would have all had our book and we'd have like reading time and we, it would be like probably like 20, 30 minutes and you get to like read your book and then put it back in the basket and I always remember I loved the basket, like little cubbies, like a cubby, I cubby. loved, I loved a, a good cubby. cubby, a cubby's good, so good. And like really your good. locker, did you ever like really want to decorate mm -hmm. your locker? Every time, right when school would start, you would go, dude, school supplies, go let's ham. talk on school supplies. Oh my god, oh my god, school supplies. <laughs> the week before school would start, I would go, hey, mother ham on school supplies. <laughs> my mama did budget me on school supplies because yep. I loved spending money on school supplies. I would get like, I would get like a binder for each class. Your shit was so disorganized. And, and you'd go into, you'd go into the year being like, I'm going to be organized this year. And you I'm going to be so organized this year. And then I could see you. You would buy all the school supplies, and you would just screw it all up. You wouldn't use it to be organized. Well, I would you try. Would just like it. I would buy a binder for each class, and I would shove them all in my <laughs> backpack, and I'd carry all of them around at one time. <laughs> what you just said? I know. Why would your mom let you do that? I did A day and B day, so I'd have an A day binder, B day uh, you binder. Oh, sure was probably organized in like first grade. Oh my god, it's so good. Colored pencils. Yeah. Pencil case. I loved a good color pencil. I loved a good notebook. Good color. A good binder. Mm-hmm. Love some. I I did like the little organization tabs. Well, right. yeah, English, dividers. English. Yeah, the little English. dividers. <laughs> English. <laughs> <laughs> Temporary vacation, my mistress, you my nicotine habit, my addiction. It's that win win winter time, cuffing season, handcuffs, lifting season. Don't nobody wanna fall. Genuinely, I'm perplexed. I wish we were staying here for like at least one more day. Oh. This has been like such chill vibes. Such chill Literally vibes. Literally wake up, have breakfast at the hotel, I chill know. at the beach all day, and then go to like a dinner. It's so incredible. So incredible. Like, literally book a ticket here now. It's amazing. Like, probably my favorite place that I've ever visited. Oh, it's just honestly goals. Beautiful. That was probably my favorite beach, actually. I really like that beach. Okay, so now we're going home. I cut my foot on a rock. That was the only downfall, but that's okay. You know, a little boundal wound. That is actually pretty bad. It's, pretty pretty deep cut. It's a pretty deep cut. Uh, and I was wondering why it hurt 
so bad when it happened. I was like, I don't know why this is hurting so bad. I was out there in the ocean stepping on the same rocks and it was like super painful even though I wasn't getting cut. I know and I was like, oh, come on, they don't hurt. And then I was like, oh shoot, that freaking hurt. And then I come out of the water and I'm gushing blood all over my yeah. foot. Like it's like a gash, anyway. Hey guys, okay, we are back at the room, just showered and got dressed, and we're about to go to dinner. Um, I'm wearing a top from Princess Polly. This is in a haul from a while ago on my channel, so if you missed that, yeah. Um, just gonna apply my skincare, so I thought I'd show you guys. It's nothing new, to be honest. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with SPF and my Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil, the best. And actually, I'm surprised I got some color on my face today, and I even put sunscreen on. So, very happy about that. All my bracelets are from Miranda Fry. I've been wearing them my entire trip, and they're so cute, especially on the beach. Like, they look so cute, the swimsuit. And my earrings are also from there, so. Miranda Fry, you can use code Julia for 10% off. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing the jewelry all trip and it doesn't tarnish in the water or in the salt water, which is why I love it, it's such good quality. And my necklace is also <laughs> Miranda Fry. So I'm just gonna put that on. Let's see here. The heart, okay, so this heart charm is Miranda Fry. Can you see it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. This heart charm is from Miranda Fry and this one is from Shop Blue Jean Baby. So you guys can check that out. Blue Jean Baby, I tag them all the time on Instagram. They are the best. And let's see, did I bring any perfume with me? I don't think I did because I've been wearing scented lotion this lotion is just like from my hometown. It's my favorite thing ever though. It's China Musk. It smells so good. So that's what I... China Musk. I know, it's the best smell. I get so many compliments on it. And if you want to look it up, it's called Sonoma Body Works. It's like a very small niche brand. But anyways, um, okay. I have to wear flip-flops because I tore my toe up on the rocks today at the beach. And so I'm wearing flip flops and jeans and then I'm gonna wear this gold bag. I'm gonna take this bathing suit out. Oh, hello. Okay, never mind. I'm changing my shoes to these. I'm just gonna tough it out. Oh yeah, those ledges look good. Yeah, they look really good. And it's like my foot's gonna rub against no matter what shoes I have on, so. Cream, no surprise over here. Um, oh, oh, actually, how do you like these? How do you like these jeans? I actually really like them. Yeah, they're super they're, cute. They're a little tighter than normal. I like them though. But we're in uh, Europe. They're really good fit, right? One in Europe. I thought they were a good fit, and they go with uh, tennis shoes. They are. Did you get the room key? Um, I have the room key. Okay. Here, this we need light. Switch. This switch is this. Say, say, that's Club Monaco. Oh yeah, I forgot. Club, Club Monaco. Monaco. Zara jeans. Cute. And Zara, Zara shoes. shoes and. What's your eye cream? Uh, this that's is part the Kiehl's avocado eye cream. Just let it soak in. Yeah. My face is sunburn. Yeah. They're trying to moisturize. Okay, let's go. Hunter driving like a maniac to dinner. Oh my gosh. Careful. Oh my god. I'm hungry. Okay. <clears throat> Here we are. We're at dinner. We ordered two orders of the oysters. Yeah. Because the oysters come with three, so mm -hmm. each got three. Oh. Hello. Give you a little Tabasco. Um, so three and oysters. Wings. And then we got some little re uh, some wings. More Not oysters. Oh, oh look, this is a different. Sh they're all different shapes. I know. It's all very right. authentic. They are all and a lemon for each oyster. That's badass. What? That means they want you to put the whole thing. That means they want you to squeeze the whole lemon. Oh no. We're about to eat like so much more good food too. Like it's not stopping here. Gotta hit the back of my throat. I'm becoming a bigger fan like each time I have it. Me too! It's so good. It's like so fresh. Onto the chicken wing. Onto the chicken wing. This is a nice little glaze. Is it good? So good. It looks gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's nice. But it's so good. It literally tastes like... Mm. So 
barbecue chips in a sauce. Mm -hmm. Barbecue cuddle chips. Real ass on actually going to town. Bright and early, packing up, headed to the train station. We're going to Lisbon today. I don't know how so much Ooh. crap I packed. We have so much crap. We like honestly are in disbelief. Oh, that's water. Oh, I'm so thirsty. So you have better packing than this, honestly. I know. I'm surprised. I'm actually like, it's a lot. We're gonna finish packing up, and you here you can watch us. Cue the fast speed. Yeah. She can run away like the flick of a ladder. Baby, get down with the friendly fire. Oh, 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 oh she's in my dreams, and that's fine by me. So, won't you drive me through the night? Until we see the sunrise We're just living life So we can touch to the The ticket office wasn't open, so we waited an hour. Hunter went and dropped off the rental car, which was fine. The train station is very yeah, quiet. I dropped, I dropped it off. Well, we had the rental car. Mm -hmm. We came to the train station. I dropped her off with all the bags, right. so we didn't have to carry the bags like from the right. rental that car. Right. That would is actually a good call. I know. So then I drove back to the rental car place, dropped it off, walked here. It wasn't very far, like a half a mile maybe. Got here. Um, uh -oh. It's so safe here, that's why I like it. Super safe. Very safe. That's the alarm goes off. That's a, that's a fire alarm. Uh, anyway, so. anyway, so we got here. I was telling Julia, she kept telling me there's an 11 o'clock train. I'm like, no, there's not. I night. swear. And I looked it up a couple times and she kept saying that. It's 11, I promise. And I was like, no, the next one's at 1 o'clock. Anyways, we got Where here at 10. Where are you looking? On the, on the site. On the site? On the train station site, not Rumberia? Rumberia. That's what I was looking at. I thought I was getting an 11 to Anyway. Anyways, I was, I can see this on one o'clock, she's like, no, trust me, it's like 11. So we got here at like 9, 30, 10, just to make sure we had enough time to get the car and the luggage and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then, yeah, I was right. Of course I was. I went to buy the tickets and, you know, you know, those things happen though when you're traveling, you know. I know. Just, you gotta account for it. Um, anyways, we stopped at a little cafe and we're getting... Well, the cafe and the train station. The cafe and the train station. Exciting. But, um... So we got some press special. Cheers. So, cheers. We're so European. Good night, cappuccinos. Okay, should we say bye so you can start editing? I'm not ready to go yet. I know. No, but I'm we'll kidding. see you guys in Lisbon for La chapter Lagos, two. I've said this once. I'll say it again. Lagos is a good must come to city yeah, gotta come yeah i bet there's other good cities in Malta, or not just Lagos, but it was really i nice. fell with Lagos. i know i would love to come do like a a two-week trip just to the Algarve and like know each city beach every day but just like understand and know each city we need to do that. i had the best time at the beach here. Came back. We, can come, we, can, we can come so cheap we can stay at casa May. Okay. okay, anyways, y'all. Okay, love, love you guys. You. We'll see you guys. See you and Lisbon.